Yes guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom item script. For this you'll be needing no required add-ons, just basic script. The first thing you're going to want to do is open your text editor of your choice. I'm using Visual Studio Code for this tutorial. So first you're going to actually create the items in different variables. So we're going to do onload. So this will execute this every time you reload the script. Then you're going to set the variable custom items colon colon which means it's a list variable so you can have as much as you want health chestplate now we're going to set it to an unbreakable gold chestplate and we're going to name it health chestplate in yellow now we're just going to add a line of lure to it so the lure of an item is the text that appears underneath the item's name so this just says in red plus five and then a heart emoji i'll leave all these unicodes in the description so you can just copy paste them to your script and then lastly i'm going to do with mbt and then open quotation hide flags is 63 basically what this does is it just hides the fact that it's unbreakable because it just looks a bit messy on the item and then here what i've done is i've just copy pasted this and i've just changed damage uh, i've just changed health chestplate to damage sword gold chestplate to wooden sword Health chestplate to in green damage sword with the lure, then I put plus 10 and then um, a sword emoji. So I'll also leave this in the description and then with the same MBT. Now we're going to create a command to actually give ourselves these items. So we're going to do command items permission operator. Just, just make sure that you aren't operating on the server to use this command. Trigger, we're going to get a loop the variable custom item. So we're going to copy paste this custom items in a star. So the whole list variable, we're going to give player loop value. Oops, loop value. Now we're going to actually apply the health effect for the health chest plate. So we're going to do on player armor change. This executes every time that player takes on or off armor. Then we're going to say if new armor item is custom items health chest plate, which is this. Then we're going to add 10 to the player's maximum health and then heal the player fully. Now we're going to do the same thing, except we replace new with old. We remove 10 from the player's max health. So this is if they take it off. So now we're going to set the effect for the sword. So we're going to do on damage. Then we're going to check the attacker's tool. So if attacker's tool is custom items damage sword. Oops, let's put it off there. Then we're going to add 10 to the damage. So now we're going to want to control A and copy this all, then have head over to your minor dashboard, go to file manager, plugins, script, and then into your scripts folder. You can just create a script file. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name mine items.sk. Then open that script file and paste the code in. Then press save. Then you can head over to your Minecraft server and then do slash sk reload and then your script name, mine is items.sk. Okay, so I have an error here, you guys won't, uh, slash items is already defined in another script, so you're just gonna wanna change the command name. You, don't, you guys don't have to do this, but I'm doing it because I already have this command set. So I'm gonna copy paste this and paste it back in here. I'm gonna reload one more time. Then now if we do, slash custom items, then we should be given both of our items, the damage sword and our health chestplate. So if I put this chestplate on and you see it gives us health. Now we can customize this health. So you see this isn't actually five heart track now. So if you head over here, you can make this five, but that would only be one row of hearts. So you can put that at 2.5 and then that you can also put this as 2.5 and that should be five hearts. Now if we put this on, okay, so this isn't exactly five. You guys can play around with this and find exactly what hearts work for you, but for now I'm just going to move on to the damage sword. So if I summon a cow, so if I give myself a wooden sword, a normal wooden sword, and I hit it with that, it doesn't one-shot it, but if I summon another cow and I hit it with this, it one-shots it, so that definitely adds 10 to the damage. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you with your script journey. If you have any questions, make sure to join my Discord server, the link will be in the description, and yeah, cheers.